Hello, Uniwink Universe. Unique New York with Nathan Kaufman has had a great off season and we can't wait to bring you more. And then the world changed. We at Uniwink want to take this moment to send our thoughts and prayers to those that have suffered losses and are currently suffering from the COVID pandemic, as well as our sincerest gratitude to those on the front lines. We are reminded on a daily basis of how much the world has changed just by looking out the window or at my spousal in-home haircut or my custom-made mask supporting local businesses. But we at Uniwink thought it would be nice to remind you of how it was with brand new episodes we shot just a few months ago. But where to begin? Where, where to, to begin? begin? We want to bring you something iconic but with some lesser known gems hidden within. So why not just one street? And why not maybe the most famous street in all of New York City, 42nd Street, the Deuce. We will start here on West 42nd Street and the West Side Highway, also known as 12th Avenue, the westernmost point of the street that is 42nd. If we were to go any further west, we'd be in the Hudson River and then New Jersey. Now, I got a lot of love for the Garden State, but this is unique New York with Nathan Kaufman, and Unju Wink just doesn't have the same ring to it. But if we were standing here on the afternoon of January 15th, 2009, we'd be witness to the miracle on the Hudson. When Captain Chesley Sullenberger made a successful water landing after a bird strike disabled US Airways Flight 1549, saving all 155 souls on board. That would be happening just uptown of where we are now, near the intrepid Sea, Air and Space Museum housed in a decommissioned World War II aircraft carrier. But I digress. We're talking about 42nd Street. Before there ever was a 42nd Street, this would have all been wooded territory. In 1803, businessman, merchant, and real estate tycoon John Jacob Astor bought up 70 acres of this land for farming. 42nd Street didn't even exist until 1811 when the commissioner's plan flattened the island of Manhattan and our gridded street system was established. 42nd Street was one of 15 streets that was designated to be 100 feet wide instead of 60. And you can see that it's still significantly wider than its parallel streets. All right, let's get started. We're walking east on 42nd Street. And we are now in the neighborhood of Hell's Kitchen. These days, a lot of people will recognize the name of Hell's Kitchen from the Marvel Universe with Daredevil, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, and Iron Fist, but it shows up in Spider-Man and the Punisher, even the Avengers, in the comic books, not the movies. People also wonder if they're going to see Gordon Ramsay yelling at budding chefs, but his show, Hell's Kitchen, is filmed in California. The origin of the name Hell's Kitchen is hard to pin down. It's most likely a reference to the seedy, violent nature of this lower to working class tenement neighborhood. The same era as Gangs of New York, but a totally different neighborhood. That took place in the Five Points, miles downtown of where we are right now. The most popular story comes from the late 19th century, when a rookie cop and a veteran cop are looking down on a street fight one hot summer night. The rookie cop said, this place is hell itself. The veteran cop corrects him. He said, hell's a mild climate. This here is hell's kitchen. And the name just stuck. On a map, you might find it called Clinton, after DeWitt Clinton, one of the commissioners from the commissioner's plan. Or it might just be called Midtown West. But who would want to get rid of such a badass name as Hell's Kitchen? The truth is that this neighborhood has the best variety of food in Midtown. While a lot of tourists are eating in theme restaurants in Times Square, we'll get there. New Yorkers are just a few blocks away eating better food for lower prices here in Hell's Kitchen. As we continue down 42nd Street through Hell's Kitchen, we arrive at Theater Row, a row of off-Broadway theaters just west of 9th Avenue. The 1960s through the 80s was a real dicey time for 42nd Street. Gangs, theft, homelessness, prostitution, drug addicts, drug dealers, and look, we're still New York City. We still got some stuff, but NYC is considered the safest big city in the United States. During this rougher period is when 42nd Street got its nickname, The Deuce and Theater Row was all adult film houses. 1977 began the campaign of cleaning up the area and these old adult entertainment venues became off-Broadway theaters. Very fitting too that directly across the street is Manhattan Plaza. These two huge 46 floor residential buildings are all subsidized. The approximately 3,500 residents living in the 1,689 units only pay a percentage of their income. It's very hard for people in the performing arts, or any arts for that matter, to find affordable housing, 
especially so near the theater district. 70% of the tenants in Manhattan Plaza work in the performing arts, and you better believe there's a huge waiting list and a very impressive list of alumni. Al Pacino, James Earl Jones, Timothée Chalamet, Alicia Keys, the esteemed playwright Tennessee Williams did live here for a time, but he said it was too noisy for him. And the co-creator of Seinfeld, Larry David, lived across the hall from the comedian Kenny Kramer, just to name a few. And now, all of the current residents of this giant complex are observing quarantine restrictions, the most effective way for us all to combat this pandemic, along with social distancing. We hope that you enjoy these episodes while you do your part too. And trust me, we are just getting started. This was just three blocks of a two mile street. So be sure to like and subscribe to catch our next episode and check out our past episodes too. Be safe and we'll see you real soon.